Now let's move on because more than 480,000 people live in besieged areas in Syria. Zeyna Awad is in Yalada on Turkey's southern border with Syria. And Zeyna, we, we know that the situation for Syrians trapped inside these areas is really difficult. And now we're hearing that even more people are starving to death. We are indeed. Médecins Sans Frontières, or Doctors Without Borders, has said that 16 more people have starved to death in Medaya. Uh, and they're saying that they expect up to 33 more to also suffer the same fate. They're calling this unacceptable, and they're saying that they should be allowed to establish a medical presence in areas like Medaya as soon as possible and with no restrictions. Now, the UN has said that there, we are now up to 18 towns and villages that are besieged in Syria, up from 15. Now, if you take a look at the map of Syria, you will see that this is happening across the country. There are over 240,000 people who are blocked by the regime in areas around Damascus, as well as Medaya, Zabadani, Eastern Ghouta, and Talbisha. If you move a little bit further to the north, you'll see that people are under siege there by op opposition rebel forces in Nubul Zahra, Kifraya, and the town of Fua. And of course, Daesh is also besieging 200,000 people in the area in Deir Zor. So it's a fate that Syrians are suffering everywhere. And the United Nations has actually said that using starvation as a tool of war is a war crime. And you're in Yaladagi, which is where many of the refugees are. Tell us what you're seeing there. Yes, we've been here actually for a day. And since we've gotten here, we hear the war all around us. You might be able to pick up on some of the sounds in the background, bombing, cannon fire. Yesterday, on Saturday, we met with 140 refugees who had just crossed over from Syria. They were both Arab and Turkmen. And they had come from towns and villages in the Turkmen mountain areas that have fallen to the regime, as well as from a refugee camp on the border. It was quite a heartbreaking scene. Men, women and children crying, some of them greeted by their family members members over here, a lot of them not really knowing what the future holds for them. Now, we're expecting this influx to continue. And in fact, we've heard from the mayor of Yalade, and this is what he had to say. Turkmen's and Arabs have had serious difficulties and had to leave their tents in Syria and came to Yalade, Turkey. Our country is big and strong. We help them as much as we can. Most of these refugees have gone to their relatives here. Those without relatives are taken to boarding schools and state institutions. We are doing as much as we can for them not to stay outside in this cold weather. Today, more than 1,600 Syrians came to Yaylada. From tomorrow on, they will be taken to camps with stove heaters. Now, the people that we met with yesterday told us that they have seen thousands of people waiting to cross over. We're, of course, seven kilometers from the border here. So we really expect this exodus of people to continue. OK, Zaina Awad uh, joining us there from Yaladagi on Turkey's southern, southern border with Syria. Really good to hear from you.